Before I start the video, just a quick announcement. This will be a video response to the modded server contest put up by Neseros. Um, let's hope uh, the guys over there like the video. And maybe we'll do a multiplayer series. Um, I just want to apologize for um, the quality of the video you're about to see. Um, it's been a long night and uh, yeah cheers let's play the video hello there beautiful minecraft addicts oh this has been uh, quite a long uh, evening <laughs> okay i don't know if you saw one of my uh, latest videos about um, an automated um, solar panel uh, how do you say um, oh, production line yeah that's the word <laughs> okay so this was the setup uh, quite a lot quite a lot of piping the thing with this setup was that um, it's not actually uh, what you might call it um, efficient I mean um, I put a stack of uh, every um, item that uh, comes into building a solar panel and this is what I was left with so a lot of copper cable around 8 uh, rechargeable batteries a lot of, um, of excess materials and also processed materials as in refined iron and well actually refined uh, uh, the rechargeable batteries is more of an ex uh, excess because the rest is uh, kind of okay maybe the copper cable but not really okay so I've been working my ass my my head for the last maybe a week or so and I'm not quite there yet but um, it's a work in progress and maybe maybe one day <laughs> and with a few more mods <laughs> it will come to me now this is a basic sorting system this uh, teleport pipe over here on frequency 1 is the input okay and uh, these uh, diamond pipes uh, are sorting uh, everything that comes in um, there are a lot of chests now, chests now uh, just for the purpose of demonstrating actually for uh, this video I'm gonna use only these four uh, there we have cobblestone wooden planks iron ingots and redstone dust and I'm going to show you a small production line for uh, pistons okay so everything uh, that comes in gets sorted and um, uh, let me just show you for now I put lava over here because I want uh, everything that is not this four to get in the last chest over here okay so these uh, these other ones are just for um, aspects more or less okay um, I don't know if I sh let me I think I'm gonna just show you step by step the process the thing is this is the uh, the actual production line okay I have a buffer chest over here and on a, an automatic crafting table over here okay so I need to get items from there to here now the thing is I don't want this uh, production uh, damn it forgot again <laughs> I don't want this production line to be a, a single thing I want to make it um, scalable I want to make many more production lines and this one was actually the simplest one um, let's see so 
I want to get the items from over there to here, but I want to make it scalable. How do I do that? Whoa, 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 what happened? Okay, sorry about that. First of all, I, the, there was the problem uh, how do I tell only these four chests? Okay, let's say that uh, in this chest I have, I don't know, give me something saplings okay no not like that a lot of saplings so how do i tell from all these uh, chests only the first four the items i need only those four uh, to get over there so this is where red uh, red power comes into place i've used the uh, this cable that is a bundle cable and if uh, from what I know it can uh, hold up to 16 color cable in it okay so this uh, bundle cable as you can see all the colors come in here but only the, the four colors white brown and so forth light blue only these four are connected to this production line okay so basically if i uh, use red power maybe a little bit um, easier because i can every color uh, can be a, a frequency yes and then i just activate the those tra the tran the tran transceivers I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Ah, yeah, I know it's almost 12 o'clock. I I came from <laughs> from a day at work and uh, I'm ki I'm kind of tired. And but I really really wanted to do this to show you guys what you actually can do in Minecraft with a little bit of modding and time and a lot a lot of thinking. <laughs> uh, ah. So where was I? Where was I? This is going to be a crappy video. I just know it. Um, okay, so the first four colors of the rainbow all the way uh, get connected to this production line, as you can see over here. And so yeah, I activate only these the colors I need and the items uh, get teleported but wait I need redstone in so many other recipes how can I uh, make it so that the redstone doesn't go only to that one okay how can I make it so redstone only gets uh, to the uh, production line I need so that's why I made this portion over here uh, so basically this is the input teleport table okay frequency 2 this um, also is frequency 2 so every chest exports to frequency 2 and that comes in here and goes on this line okay the, um, these other outputs are for the, uh, their specific production lines so my first one is for the production of pistons okay my second one is for the production of something else and so on and so forth as you can see here this iron um, pipes uh, basically make it that if none of them are active the items go all the way to frequency 1 which is actually the input to my uh, sorting system over here okay frequency 1 so that means that uh, that whenever I want to uh, produce uh, something from my one of my production lines like pistons for example I need to put this iron uh, pipe so that all the items go in that direction which is set on frequency 10 the the other production line is 11 and so on and so forth okay 12 over here 
so I made this little system that is also connected to my production line uh, damn it I keep falling in the damn hole <laughs> um, so to my production lines are connected to my, my production line is connected to uh, two other um, locations let's call them the sorting system which is my deposit uh, deposit location okay and the sorting um, let's say the sorting system which uh, actually uh, sends the items wherever they are needed okay so each production line will have these two connections all right so um, one of my very strongest belief is that you only use what you need okay um, so you don't make any excess um, consume uh, you don't consume any excess materials or if you don't need them okay so here I have this setup and I've told this system I want to build uh, five pistons and uh, five pistons that means I uh, I put here one less I'll uh, explain uh, that in a minute so if I wanted six pistons I would have put here five okay so let's say I want okay maybe seven pistons okay let's uh, let's let that over there and uh, let's start the system and go step by step with uh, with it uh, okay I started the system now you see in a moment if it starts um, well it didn't start why didn't it start let me just check a few things in here. I'm sorry about the mess, but hey. <laughs> um, okay, that needs to be over there. Is that a not gate? I think this is going to be a, a not gate. darn it yes I have to put a nut gate over here can I jump as you can see the system is still a little bit buggy uh, if, if you believe it or not the past week I only got to, to thinking about uh, the sorting and the, um, the connection between the deposit uh, location and um, the production line and that's it <laughs> maybe a few things and uh, uh, this evening um, come on a nut I want I want a nut 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 there, there it is okay I'm gonna stop there which was the nut that was the nut Let's see if now it's okay. Okay, so this um, item started pumping. Okay, this system also told this pipe that all the items need to go in this production line. Okay, I'm gonna show you that setup in a moment. Okay, the items get over here into this chest see all four and now as soon as uh, the necessary materials for the pistons get ready there should be a piston right over there so let's see okay that's my first piston how many pistons did I say I need uh, let's just check whoa, 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 whoa. for a second so seven pistons 
Okay. The materials are still coming in. Uh, as you can see, that's a redstone pipe from Zelda's additional pipes. That's nice. That's very very nice. So that basically goes into a counter over there. The counter initially when I press this button increments uh, itself with uh, the number of items I want and then um, when the item pass the item passes through the, um, the detection pipe the counter um, uh, to de how do you spell it how do you say it decrement increments ah uh, just subtracts one okay from the counter and when that counter finishes okay well um all the pistons are produced okay let's see maybe I, I will need some tweaking here because okay so we said seven pistons let's see if this produces seven pistons or six pistons yeah, I think it will produce only six pistons. Uh, the system was initially made um, using whoa, using this chest over here full of items. So I didn't actually um, think that um, the items will come so slow. Uh, yeah. Anyway, some tweaking is in order, of course, as uh, as every system. Uh, of course, you can see the uh, here in the distance the um, the pistons stop pumping from the deposit uh, location, and this iron gate here resetted itself, which means all the excess materials went into uh, back into the um, sorting system. Okay. So now the system, uh, what does it do? It um, collects all the excess materials in here and sends them back into the sorting system on frequency one. So you're left with nothing on uh, in the system. Only the materials needed are used. I'm sorry, guys. Uh, this uh, this is was quite tiresome, and um, <laughs> as you can see, my English. It's not that good. <laughs> um, maybe I'll put some annotations in the video at the beginning and uh, <laughs> and just implore you to watch uh, until the end because uh, it is indeed uh, quite a nice system. Now, the challenge here, okay, I did this system, it's nice, it's okay, it works. The challenge here comes with a, a more complex system okay so now we just built a piston and we just used one uh, automated crafting table which is a-okay but if you want to build something like a solar panel okay that solar panel needs a lot a lot of stuff and also it uh, it uses uh, for example uh, copper cable in more than one uh, recipe so that is going to be the real challenge yeah it's it's crazy sick <laughs> okay uh, let me just explain this setup over here I build it underground because it's as you can see it takes a lot of uh, space yeah and um, I don't know I just want the the blue blueprint <laughs> to extend as um, hor horizontally as uh, little as possible this was my initial testing area and I'll show you why let, oh, let me just check if uh, there 
there were six or seven so we set the system for seven pistons yeah six pistons uh, I thought I thought as well let me just show you why I did it for um, uh, one uh, piston uh, difference now this is basically the sa same system uh, that is over here basically <laughs> with a few modifications of course um, the thing goes like this I have the items that are the final items that I need I have uh, the redstone pipe that I want to get out um, count my items okay I've put this I wanted uh, five okay that's why I put this four here and let's activate it now as you can see because all the items are in the chest they get uh, transported one by one very fast okay so that's one that's two and because they are um, so uh, uh, close to each other that basically means that the fourth one that passes transmits the energy for the fifth uh, to the piston for the fifth one okay and uh, that's why I uh, put that system there but if I uh, activate the system okay let me just get this over here come on Bobby come on come on come on, come on. faster please faster so that's five okay so remember this is set to four and let's activate it okay so now the system just waits and if I put them one by one slowly okay so that's get that gets pulled out okay let's put another one there you go let's just wait for that to pass and again slowly So I, I didn't actually account for uh, the slowness <laughs> of the system. Okay, another one. See, so there uh, because there is so much distance. Okay, now the piston actually stopped because all four went through the system. Okay so we have one on the pipes and three in the chest so that means actually if I want four I can put here four yeah nice one so let's get these pistons from here and let's try the system again this time uh, maybe a um, few less three pistons Okay, let's just do like that. Okay, activated the system. The items are starting to come out. This uh, system over here changed the iron um, pipe so that all the items going there. And while that uh, finishes let me just explain you this one now this system over here actually works uh, works uh, not on an impulse but works on a basically a continuous red uh, stone signal which is this one that comes from the um, production line okay uh, the other ones work on a impulse so if I had uh, if I didn't have a continuous rest of signal if I had just maybe a button over here or something like that this will work for a button okay so what did I do here I uh, got 
me uh, this is I think a non gate this is a um, uh, customizable gate okay well got some <laughs> well I hope I have enough maybe not <laughs> let me just get a wrench over here quickly so I can go on with my uh, where's the wrench 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 there you go okay what does the system do from uh, so initially the iron gate is set to go put all the items through there okay when I activate activate the power to it this RS latch changes the iron gate and all the items go through here okay as you can see the system uh, just made the three pistons and now it stopped and uh, converted uh, the signal back okay all these pistons are stopped now all it's doing is um, emptying this chest over here so back to this uh, system over here so this is now stopped that's uh, that's okay when I activate this two things happen there are this RL, uh, RS latch changes state which means from that direction it goes in that direction okay through the diamond pipe and also this uh, NAND gate so not AND gate activates uh, actually deactivates <laughs> sorry um, what was I saying oh, man I'm so tired uh, so from off as it is now Okay, it changes to on. The uh, okay, so the iron um, uh, pipe over here actually changes the directions whenever there is a change in the redstone current. So it doesn't change the. Uh, let me just show you so you can understand it better. Um, I need an iron pipe. Okay, and button or something like that yeah a lever will, will do okay and maybe maybe some more piping oh pipes 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 just for the purpose of demonstrating okay let's just good now when I activate it it changes when I deactivate it it changes again and again and again and again so that's the physics of the iron gate which means when I activate this circuit this power here it doesn't matter if it's on or off it matters just that it changes states as you can see over here this one is off and uh, when I activate the circuit it just goes on it doesn't matter if it's on or off it only matters if it changes states okay so that goes off changes states this NAND gate powers off okay because I don't need those uh, two over here which in, uh, are in fact a repeater and a pulse generator a pulse generator basically uh, let me just show you one over here I, I put all the all the red power, uh, where's the pulse one? Multiplexer, counter, repeater, where's the pulse? I need the pulse. Pulse form, okay, what does this do? Let me just show you from this. Whenever you uh, activate redstone, come on. It just emits a pulse, that's it. A short pulse. Okay, nothing more nothing less when you deactivate it nothing happens 
when you when you activate it it's um, it emits a short pulse okay so again when I activate it changes states changes the um, this iron um, pipe goes like that but when it deactivates deactivates if it would only change state over here that means it would go like this and I don't want that I needed to change state once more so twice okay let's go again so from that when this powers off that basically doesn't uh, doesn't move because the RS latch only changes states when you apply um, well, an active redstone signal okay so not when you deactivate the redstone signal so that basically means uh, that uh, part over there needs to emit two short uh, bursts okay so when I um, this was active okay when I deactivate it that NAND gate act activates which sends a small impulse okay which basically tells this RL RS latch to change state and goes like that and then the repeater which is set on the second uh, notch goes again and emits another impulse and changes again the iron uh, pipe okay this is um, the basic setup now this only works if you have uh, pipes laying like this uh, the system would of course be more efficient more efficient more space efficient if you had another one like that but uh, for now that would mean a lot of work <laughs> and I uh, frankly I don't know uh, where to be even begin with that and as you can see there is a different pattern over here so if I want for example that way I need to apply one uh, change of state and that's okay but when I want to reset it I need to apply three changes of state okay now if I want to go in here let's see what that means one two changes of state and then when I want to reset it one two so two for two so yeah maybe that, that can be done but uh, not for now <laughs> Oh darn it! So how many how many pistons did I want to do over here? Man, I fell in the hole again. Darn it! I wanted three pistons. Let's see if we got three pistons over here. Yes, we have three pistons. So that's a win. <laughs> so again, guys, um, this is is cruciantly tough to build especially on uh, in for real okay if you want to gather all these materials it's quite a hassle um, I'm not even worried about the the diamonds involved I'm more uh, worried about the colors I need for the wiring but maybe if I uh, use again as I said uh, um, wireless red power I think it's uh, it's it is a mod out there I'm for, I'm sure of it because I've seen it in many videos maybe that will help a lot it's quite space consuming yeah but even more frightening for me is if I want a system that builds something more complex like a solar panel that is enormous enormous that is huge so if you have the time if you have the pleasure if you have the minecraft addiction as I have 
please go ahead and try to replicate this as much as possible um, ask me questions I'm uh, I'm sure I can help maybe the thing is I don't want I don't actually want to give uh, to put uh, a wall save for you because um, for example for me uh, this um, I, I try to update the mods all the time and um, this if you don't have the exact same version of the mods I have now and maybe I don't know some tweaks I've made um, actually <laughs> the only tweaks I've made uh, are with TMI and uh, does I you know what I mean it's it's quite uh, a nuisance to um, to give you the wall save you if and then maybe the if you don't have the proper version of the mods something doesn't work for you and if, if you think it's wrong when it actually it's because of the mods you have and the versions so I'll try to uh, help with as much as I can with all the questions you have if you have them please please help me out here uh, maybe one of you is a more advanced uh, player with, uh, with these mods and can help so th the final goal over here just to lay down some basic rules make a solar panel uh, production line that obeys the um, that basic principle okay if you don't need a material don't waste it okay as you get you could see all the materials that uh, I do not need go back into the system so yeah maybe I don't know maybe just don't worry about this uh, sorting system for now it's not that complicated but just don't worry about it um, just make an input okay for the materials an output for the finished product and also an output for the um, the materials that are left uh, unused so that's one input and two outputs okay even actually um, because this is set on one and this is also set on one which means that it goes all the it, it it's basically the same output so one input and one output yeah uh, wow that was a lot of time and a lot of talking <laughs> and actually my my head my head kind of hurts right now <laughs> oh what else what else oh yeah just wanted to um, To show you something, I um, I'm quite annoyed with. I tried using the um, coupler mod for industrial craft and build craft. You know the one that uh, changes uh, energy from build craft to industrial craft and the other way around. And um, first of all, for example I used this filler here okay and when the filler finished okay you, as you can see it's red the current from uh, this um, bat box over here should stop uh, sending a current to the filler because it doesn't need it anymore but apparently that is not the case um, actually just let me show you I think so the filler stopped um, it's on red that should be safe <laughs> let's hope so okay so this shouldn't produce any more energy but as you can see there is a small line of energy and the bo bad box gets depleted why is that? I don't know because the filler doesn't use that energy and it's just annoying. Also another bug with this mod. Um, as you can see there are um, 
a few types of pipe okay for the model wooden the stone and the golden pipe they are called regulator pipes the texture was uh, had a conflict with Zelda's uh, additional pipes which means uh, that actually Zelda's um, what you call it texture for his pipes was overriding the texture of the coupler um, uh, mod pipes and uh, I actually had to go in the texture files and uh, put the texture from the coupler in Zelda's texture uh, image file in order to to not get pink pipes all around <laughs> yeah that's uh, that's all for now i think this uh, video is about 30 minutes long <laughs> please rate comment and subscribe and as always don't forget to be awesome guys ciao